Hi there. I'm out at Joss Greenhouse with Lois, and we're looking at plants um, for our fall uh, for our spring plant sale, which is coming up at the end of the month. And we'll give you some more details about it later. But we want to show you some plants that we we like and uh, get you interested in getting out and planting. Um, I want to start with some salvia, and the reason I really like the salvia is because the deer don't like it. They're a very dependable plant to grow. Um, they're easy to care for. This one is a red salvia gregei, and the salvia gregei are sometimes called autumn sage, but there's different colors that they come in. We're gonna have a red one, and there's also a white one here, and we'll also have a pink one. I don't have a pink one to show you. The reason I like these, they're gonna be about three foot tall. They're gonna stay evergreen all winter long. Um, you can trim them back heavily, get some of the woody plant away, and it will, it will re come back beautifully. Um, great plant to have. The hummingbirds are all over these things, so really nice plant to have. There's another one that's a, a new color that I haven't seen that's really a very vibrant red. And this is called Radio Red Salvia Gregei. And I think it's a gorgeous, really bright red. It's in the same family. Um, great plant to have. Another salvia that I have here is one called Midnight Candle. It's in the family, like with the mealy blue sage. Um, um, it's a Farinacea. And this one is gonna be probably two feet tall. Gonna have these deep purple blooms on it. Um, the deer won't like it. It's a, it's a beautiful plant. There's another one that we have that's called Henry Duelberg. A little bit taller plant than this and it too is in the same family um, but these are great plants one way you can always tell um, salvia and sages too is they always have a square stem on them and uh, there's enough of a odor to the leaf that the deer stay away from salvias and they're pretty trustworthy on that another salvia i have is one called may night and you can see it, it kind of grows like in a rosette. And then the flower spike comes up from the center of the rosette. These things stay green even in the winter. And Lois said hers, even through this last awful storm that we had, came through green with it. Um, but they, they spread nicely. There's, they form rosettes all around. Doesn't spread invasively or anything, just a nice spread and a very trustworthy plant. It's a great plant to grow, easy to grow, so love it. Okay, this is a, a Jerusalem sage, which a lot of you might be familiar with. It has a, a, a fuzzy leaf. It's a almost a gray-green leaf. Unfortunately, we don't have them in bloom. We could show you it has a great big, very unusual yellow bloom on it. Now, these are going to get to be pretty tall, three to four foot tall, and beautiful bloom on them. The deer won't touch them. Um, are these evergreen? Uh, uh, pretty much, except for our last freeze. <laughs> yeah, I think I think they're pretty much evergreen. There is another variety of this that we'll have that's called a large leaf, and it has bigger leaves, and it's a more dwarf variety, so it won't get as tall as this, but it still has the same beautiful yellow blooms on it, so it's a great plant. Deer will not touch it. They don't like anything with fuzzy leaves, so they'll stay away from this one easy. Um, another great deer resistant plant is Purple Homestead Verbena. This makes a great ground cover and it has a beautiful purple bloom on it. I love to put this in just even around some shrubs to kind of fill in around some shrubs, but it'll fill in and make a mat of, of color in the spring and summer for you. So this is Homestead Purple Verbena. Okay, this plant is um, a Glardia, and Glardia you sometimes know as blanket flower. These are hybridized um, Glardia, and this is called a red spin top Glardia, and it, it's a full sun plant. It likes the heat 
it tolerates it very well. Um, you'll have better luck with these blooming if you deadhead them. Um, I've got a lot of new blooms on this one, but you can see this is called uh, red spin top, and there's another color here called yellow spin top. And you can see those dead blooms on there that need to be trimmed off, and that, that'll help them rebloom. But a great plant for the summer heat, and it will bloom through the summer up to through the fall. Hi, I'm Lois, Master Gardener in Williamson County Master Gardeners. We're going to have three different grasses for sale, and let me show you two of these. One is Mexican feather grass. As you can see, it's very light. The air blows it, and it's very light, and a lot of movement. Usually these are planted in mass, so you can see the movement in full sun. So this is Mexican feather grass. We also sell a gulf muley that's uh, about three feet tall and has a red fluorescence uh, in the fall time, which is awesome. Now you don't see the seed head here, which is spectacular about this, but this is called inland sea oats. And this is a great plant for the shade. Uh, the very tall, graceful seed heads uh, come up about three feet tall and they wave in the wind and it's really beautiful. So as, an, as a wonderful plant to, to put in a, a shady space or maybe even dappled shade, the, windland, the inland sea oats will give you a lot of movement in your landscape. Hi, here are two ground covers that we will have uh, for our plant sale. These are both pony foot. What you usually see is the silver pony foot and be careful because it will spread and cover everything. So be sure where you put it, you want it to be because it will spread and spread and spread. But it's a great ground cover and great in a drought tolerant or a rock garden. This is a variety I hadn't used before. This is an emerald um, pony foot. It's all green. So as you see, the leaves are a little bit larger, but it's a all green variety depending on what color you want. So these are great uh, drought tolerant uh, ground covers for your landscape. Okay. We will have several echeverias for sale in these four inch pots at our plant sale. Let me show you three of these, which are absolutely lovely. This darker colored one, Serana, is, um, is just beautiful. And it will, of course, grow. It, it likes sunlight. It will take some partial shade. Uh, these are very drought tolerant. Uh, they are uh, sometimes cold hardy. These would not have survived the deep freeze that we just have. You would need to bring those in or cover those. But this is Serana. This next one is called Brown Rose, and you can see the rosette shape and the brown kind of color on the tips of the leaves, which are just gorgeous. Um, very, these are just such different textures and varieties. Now, the next one I wanna show you is the Blue Princess, and you see the gray, the kind of gray color, the soft gray, depending on what you want. These Echeveria, we'll have four or five of these for sale at the plant sale, and you'll want to check these out in the four inch pots. Here's another plant that we will have at our sale. This is called an orange bulbine, and these leaves, this is a type of succulent. And usually these are winter hardy, although these did not survive the deep freeze we just had. Uh, they, they did turn to mush and I had to dig mine up and I need to purchase some more. But this orange bulbine sends out this beautiful orange uh, stem. And when it dies, you want to cut it back and it will send out some more. But these are very drought tolerant plants. Uh, your deer would love these blooms, so please don't plant them where deer can browse. But these are just beautiful succulent uh, plants that we will have for sale. Orange bulbine. A couple of more I want to show you. We will have three colors of ice plant. This also is a succulent, but it is a, a trailing succulent. The purple, the yellow, we will also have red. Um, the deer will munch on these as well, so keep these protected from the deer. But these are wonderful plants that are um, 
but you will do need to water these, but they require low water and they are a type of succulent and they will trail quite a distance. And depending on how much sunlight you give them in full sun, they love full sun, uh, you will have a lot of bright, large blooms on these ice plants. Our plant sale this year will be quite different. We're excited to, to tell you that it will be an online sale. You can visit Williamson County Master Gardener website to click on the link and we'll have an online store where you can purchase these. The store will be open March 23rd through the 26th, uh, through 11 o'clock on Friday the 26th. So it, during that time, those four days, you can make your purchases. And then on Friday, April the 2nd, if you will drive by the Georgetown Community Center, we will put them in your car for you. Be sure that you um, have plenty of plastic or something inside your trunk or the back of your car to protect your car when we put the plants inside. So you don't have to come inside. Uh, we, will, we will put them in your car for you. Now, the prices for most of these gallon plants will be $9. And know that sales tax is included in the purchase price of this. So we're excited to be able to offer you this plant sale this year. So go to the Williamson County Master Gardeners website um, from March 23rd through March the 26th and place your order. And we will have, as, as plants are available, we will sell them. So purchase early. Brenda, what were you going to add? Pay by credit card. So no payment on the right second. no payment when you pick them on up uh, this is all a uh, online payment through your credit card so that's quite different from us for us as well and we'll but load them up for you we will put them in your car for you so bring uh plastic trash bags paper or something to protect your trunk or the back of your car and we will put them in for you um kind of contactless delivery for you in your car at the georgetown community center on friday April the 2nd. Uh, that will be the pickup day. And if you work, we'll have some times available after your work hours for you to pick up. There will be a way to sign up for a specific time. So we'll know when to expect you on that Friday. So we look forward to seeing you at our plant sale and hope that this is a great service for our Williamson County community.